Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got the tropics, space mapping, a space mystery, and a core anomaly at the center of the Earth. For those who pre-ordered the book, we're chugging through those. Check your emails as the PDF link should be there. PDF-only version available soon for everyone else. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, where the coronal hole is incoming on the north, several bright active regions coming with it. Still no solar flaring and no eruptive activity. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm following the solar storm that kicked off the week. The sunspots are what has my attention now. Not only are there several established groups turning in, but both leading active regions are morphing and growing. Watching them all, but smart money says any flares would come from the leading umbra. Sunspot numbers still rising today. Let's go next to the tropics. The official forecast for Gabriel has it bending north into the open sea. The model showed it too, we showed it yesterday morning, and now we can see that even as the Atlantic reawakens, it is still little threat to the U.S. coastlines. Up next, Gaia stuns. This data took years to put together, mapping the nearby star-forming regions of the Milky Way surrounding the Sun. Yesterday we discussed Roman and how it will aid in the interstellar discoveries, and this is the data it will be added to and combined with. Up next we are going to Chrism where the bajillionth deep space mystery is coming together. Disc winds off neutron stars behave far more violently than they thought they would. The comparison between the galactic core disks and these stellar versions was supposed to be much greater. Turns out, size may be the only discriminating factor between them, and once again, the astronomers had no clue what they were talking about. But our top story today hits a serious change at the core of the Earth. It actually began in 2006, peaked in 2007, finished by 2008, a dramatic solidification of the core mantle boundary off the coast of Africa in the Atlantic. This plays in everything from where big quakes will occur to the production of Earth's magnetic field. And for those who remember Dr. Simonenko's famous paper, 2006 was the largest geomagnetic disturbance and acceleration of this magnetic pole shift that Earth had seen up to March 2023. It's not a coincidence, rather a confirmatory sign of the timeline and the resulting impacts on our planet. Folks, head out to ObserverRanch.com and check out the event list, world-class prepper seminar coming first weekend in October. There's a lot happening these last couple months of the year, and don't forget, this year was our rookie season pricing. If you go to science events or UFO conferences or special interest events, you know they start about three times more expensive than ours. Come out and see us before the end of the year, Next year, prices are going up to normal. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.